You're welcome back again to our Blaze Online Max in this video. I'll be solving this quantitative reasoning on the board. This is Lantern Quantitative Reasoning Book 6, Test 1. The first page in this Lantern Quantitative Reasoning. Most schools will be coming back for a new academic section tomorrow, especially schools in Lagos. So I'm sure this video will be of help to some students and also teachers. So if you want me to be solving this quantitative reasoning ahead of you, kindly help me to share this video, comment, and like the video so that it will encourage me to do more of these videos. I'll be doing the video ahead of you. All right. So this is the first page in this Lantern Quantitative Reasoning. The first test, test one. The quantitative here is very simple, but if you don't take time, you will not get it. Now we have three here, we have eight here, we have five here and we have 12 up. How are we going to get 12? So say um, 3 times 5, which is 15, minus 8 is not giving us 12. Huh? How are you going to get 12? This is a very simple thing. For you to get 12, this is what we are going to do. We are going to multiply all the down numbers. That is 3 times 8 times 5. 3 times 8 is 24. 24 times 5 is 120. So 120 divided by 10. Remember this 10 is constant. So 10, 0 will cancel 0. 12 divided by 1. Your answer is 12. So this is how to get the 12 up there. The same thing here. If you want to get 21 here, you do 7 times 2. That is 14. 14 times 15. If you do that, you are going to get 200. You are going to get 210. 14 times 15 is 210. 210 divided by constant 10. 21 divided by 1. Your answer is 21. So this is how to get 21, and this is how to get 12. So now, if you want to get 3 here, what are you going to do? Still the same thing. It's very simple. Just do 12 times 10. That is 120. 12 times 10 is 120. 120 divided by the remaining numbers. Let's assume we don't have 3 here at all. We don't have anything here. Hope you can see. So you just times 12 by the constant 10. That is 12 times 10 is 120. So 120 divided by 8 times 5, which is 40. 0 cancel 0. 12 divided by 4. Your answer is 3. This is how to get 3. If you want to get 8, you still do the, you do the same thing. You do 12 times 10 divided by 3 times 5. If you want to get to here, you do the same thing. So this is how to solve this quantitative reasoning. It's very simple. Please help me to share this video. Thank you and God bless you.